going on guys welcome back to the vlog i'm here in the woodlands texas right outside of houston tomorrow we have our half marathon where i'm gonna be going for a sub 119. so first thing this morning i got up and i just did two miles easy and i've been carb loading all day i'm aiming for about 600 grams of carbs total for the day right now i'm at about 450 grams just stopped by the packet pickup grabbed my bib went through the expo then i just got to the hotel and now i'm about to go for another little two mile shakeout run just because after sitting in the car for the last three hours being crammed up i want to get the blood flow and get the legs moving and then following the two mile shakeout run i'm gonna go grab some dinner just bring it back here to the hotel chill out eat and then go to bed early and hit hard in the morning it's gonna be an epic weekend all right we're out here with chris grabbing some photos of our two mile shakeout run it is a beautiful evening it's like 65 70 degrees on this beautiful little pond lake back here how are we doing chris pretty good just hopefully um my hair doesn't you know doesn't come out uh... <laughs> Your hair looks great. No, I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> We're gonna grab some photos, grab some videos, and uh, knock out this shakeout. Bam! The two mile shakeout run the night before. A race is just one of the best feelings. It's just like a nice, easy 15, 20 minute little jog. Your legs feel good because you've been tapering, you're carving up, so you have a lot of energy. And it's even better if it's in a new city. Like I've never been to the woodlands before. And it's just beautiful. Look at this. So epic, beautiful evening. Weather's gonna be prime tomorrow. Let's head back to the hotel. Gonna order some pasta and uh, we'll see you then. All right, I just picked up my Italian food for this. We've got a couple pieces of bread, gluten-free bread. We've got some bolognese. And then I got these, um, they're like risotto balls of some sort. Pretty psyched about it. Looks good, full of carbs. Let's dive in, baby. The bolognese, bolognese, bowl of knees, whatever the hell it's called. Delicious. I just put in my macros for the day. Hit over 600 grams of carbs for the day. I've never had that many carbs in my entire life. And surprisingly, I don't feel bloated or heavy. Normally when I carb load, I feel like crap, to be honest. But I think it's because of the types of carbs that I chose to eat today. In the past, it was a lot of stuff like this all throughout the day, rice, pasta, all that stuff. Whereas today, most of my carbs came from fruit, a lot of dried fruit, berries, bananas, lots of fruit today. So I felt a lot lighter and uh, just better as a whole, which is obviously nice for a half marathon. But I'm gonna finish off this pasta and this bread, down some electrolytes and uh, some more beet juice, and then we're hitting the hay. So, chat with you in a minute. All right, here is the race gear for tomorrow. We've got the Saucony custom singlet with my logo on there. Really stoked about how that turned out. Got the bib. We've got the Saucony three inch stopwatch shorts. I have my gels pinned into the side right there. For easy access, I can just rip it off in the middle of the course, middle of the race. Got the Say Sky combat socks. Gonna be fueling with the Redmond's Relight electrolytes tomorrow. Gonna be knocking down 4,000 milligrams of sodium in the morning. We've got these bad boys, the Saucony Endorphin Elites. Super fast shoes, crazy light. They look sick. Pumped to rock these tomorrow. And then we got the running hat. Again, my custom hat with my logo on there. So there's the gear. I'm going to now use these recovery tools to foam roll, massage gun, lacrosse ball, do a little bit of muscle scraping, some band work, just uh, getting ready to go. Make sure everything's dialed in for tomorrow. All right, there's one last thing before bed. A nice big swig of beet juice. Get the nitrates flowing. Ah, delicious. Tastes like earth, like dirt. Tastes like speed and nitrates. Nitric oxide. Beet juice and sodium are the secrets to endurance and speed. They dilate your blood vessels. They get more oxygen into your muscles. I don't know the science behind it, but I swear that it works.
All right, just finished up some stretching, mobility, recovery, massaging, and whatnot. Feeling good. Gonna go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it is 5.15. I woke up at about 4.45, took a quick shower, and uh, got dressed. Now, went down a little bit more beet juice. Have a couple pieces of sourdough bread, probably just one piece, a banana, some Round Rock Texas honey, one of these fruit bars, some sodium. So I'm gonna spend the next 30 to 45 minutes just trying to get all this food down and then hopefully I'll be done eating, done drinking about an hour before the race starts. That way my body has time to kind of process it a little bit and then when we get over to the start line, I can uh, go to the bathroom real quick, so. up the last little bit of my electrolyte solution got in a good amount of beet juice slowly but surely working on the sourdough toast i got the banana down but let me tell you trying to eat this early in the morning is not easy especially when you carb loaded the whole day before trying to get in any kind of calories is just tough so we're getting there we're getting there i'm gonna finish these up and then start walking over to the race. I'm about a mile from the course. So I'm just gonna kind of warm up, do some drills and strides along the way. And the race starts in about an hour. So feeling good, ready to go send it. We'll see you after the race. In order to go sub 119, I needed my pace to be six minutes per mile or faster. My pacing plan was to go out at about a 603 pace, take the first few miles conservative, and then slowly start to negative split throughout the race. So from the start to about mile four, I was right at a 602, 603 pace. The course was relatively flat. There were some tiny little rolling hills, but nothing major. I did hit a punchy little hill right before mile five, and that definitely slowed my pace down. So my fifth mile was about a 6.11. Once that happened, I knew that I needed to start making up some time on the back half of the race. I was able to make up just a little bit of time from mile five to mile 10. I averaged about six minutes per mile here, but when I got to mile 10, I knew I needed to make up a lot more time than I expected to. At around mile 10, I was doing the math in my head and I knew that I wasn't gonna be under sub 119 unless I could really push these last few miles. So mile 11, I went 5.59. Mile 12, I tried to push and the legs just didn't have it. I ran a 6.04. And then on mile 13, I was able to make up some more time. I ran a 5.52, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to break that 119 mark. And I ended up running a 119.19. That ended up being about a 34 second PR. And overall, I'm super happy with the results. I didn't quite get that 119 I was going for, but I still went out and got a PR, which anytime you can get a PR, that's a good day. Even if you cross the finish line feeling really good, really strong, I think there's always a little part in the back of your mind asking, did I really give 100%? Did I really leave it all out there? And I don't know if we'll ever truly know the answer, but I know that at the end of this race, I was pretty damn close. I almost threw up once I crossed the finish line because I was just, I was dogging it those last couple of miles trying to make up that time. And every time I go and do a race, no matter where it is, I'm always reminded of how great the running community is, how encouraging everybody is, and really how everybody just wants everybody to have fun, 
finish the race and have a good time. I was able to interact and meet with a lot of you guys who follow me on YouTube or Instagram or somewhere. And that is really what the running community is about. It's about inspiring each other, encouraging each other, and just trying to make everybody around us better. And the Woodlands was no different. I have several other races planned for this year. On April 17th, I'm gonna be running the Boston Marathon. On May 7th, I'll be running the OC Marathon out in California. On May 13th, I'll be running the Ram Party 50K up in Colorado Springs. June 17th, I'll be running the Bighorn 52 miler up in Wyoming and then the Chicago Marathon later on in October. So I hope to see some of you guys out there, maybe get the chance to meet you and log some miles together. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.